In the news this week, tennis and broadcasting legend Sue Barker says men should not be allowed to compete in female sports. An assisted suicide bill has been tabled in the Republic of Ireland. And the son of evangelist Billy Graham is finally able to share the gospel with thousands at a venue which previously cancelled his booking. Hello. Wimbledon and BBC legend Sue Barker believes male players who identify as female should not be allowed to compete against biological women. In an interview on her career, the former British number one and French Open winner revealed her support for Martina Navratilova's opposition to gender self-ID in women's sport. Earlier this year, Navratilova warned that trans ideology risks alienating a generation of women from participating in sport. Barker told the Daily Telegraph, I just think you take away the young girl's dreams, so I am definitely with Martina. Research by website sheone.org recently revealed that almost 700 female athletes around the world have been deprived of nearly a thousand medals, records, scholarships or other opportunities by biological males competing in women's categories. A fresh attempt to legalise assisted suicide and euthanasia has been launched in the Republic of Ireland. Gino Kenny has tabled his Voluntary Assisted Dying Bill 2024, which would allow vulnerable people to access medical assistance to be killed. Under Kenny's proposals, adults resident in either the Republic or Northern Ireland for at least a year, who are expected to die of a terminal illness within a specified time frame, will be eligible for death by lethal drugs. It also allows those without a terminal illness to request assisted suicide or euthanasia in cases of unbearable suffering that cannot be alleviated to a level the person finds acceptable. Eligible patients may take the prescribed poison themselves, or if this is deemed not feasible, can ask a doctor to do it. The bill is unlikely to be considered before the next Irish election, but Kenny hopes that whoever forms the next government will take it forward. The government of Massachusetts has launched a smear campaign against pro-life pregnancy clinics. The US state's Department of Public Health used a $1 million investment to push women to visit abortion centres instead of pro-life clinics. One advert claimed that pro-life services, which outnumber abortion centres by more than two to one in Massachusetts, put women's health at risk and mislead them about their options. But Lisa Bourne of Pregnancy Help News said the accusations are false. The reality is that pregnancy help centres both improve and save lives. And finally, Franklin Graham has shared the gospel with more than 7,500 people at a venue in Glasgow which previously shut him down. In 2020, the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association sued five venues after its gospel events were cancelled because of Franklin Graham's Christian beliefs on marriage and sexual ethics. Following successful outcomes in each lawsuit, the US evangelist has now visited Glasgow's Ovo Hydro as part of his God Loves You tour. Graham welcomed the opportunity to finally preach in the city, calling it a victory not just for us, but for all Christians and churches across the UK. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.